This is Mobile HF, noise. The toughest obstacle a mobile amateur radio operator has to face is attenuating the various undesired noises emanating from the transceiver speaker. By noise, I mean various forms of RFI, EMP, EPI, and AFI. Whether it is inducted, induced, or received, we're collectively calling them noise, because that's the manifestation of interference, no matter the true cause. Remember, too, there is no one single cure-all for reducing it. The most prevalent RFI we have to deal with is ignition noise. The biggest problem is it sounds similar to injector noise. In this case, the noise pulses from both the injectors and the ignition system interaction, and the noise appears more of a hash. All modern gasoline engines use electrically controlled fuel injectors. The injectors themselves are very close in design to the pressure balance system used in sprinkler valve units, but much faster in operation, thus very precise in metering fuel. When the field around the coil collapses, a back EMF pulse is generated. It is the high-rise time pulse, rich in harmonics, which we hear as RFI. Another common noise is caused by electric fuel pumps. Most are mounted inside the fuel tank, but a few are mounted on the frame rail. Some high-performance vehicles have both kinds, and some trucks have two or more. In this case, the engine is not running. And in this case, the engine is running, and the noise is clearly a continuous whine. Every modern vehicle on the road has at least five or six electric motors. Some have as many as 50. Engine cooling fans, AC fans, idle air control motors, powered seats, electric windows, and some cruise controls, remote control mirrors, power door locks, and the list goes on and on. When any of them operate, they create hash, spikes, and or other pops. Most of them sound similar, albeit some are steady like AC fans. You can imagine the difficulty of identifying just one motor when several are running at the same time. There is a trend in the industry to switch to brushless motors. Believe it or not, this is being done to reduce RFI and increase mechanical life. Alternator wine is not as prevalent as it once was due in part to a better design and much better diode array. Some alternators pulse a stator current similar to a switching power supply, while the others use an analog method like a linear power supply, similar to a switched bench supply. The frequency and or the pulse width may be varied. If you are plagued with this particular noise, the alternator is a good place to start. The fact is, most of the time you'll hear several noises at once. This is why it's so important to do the obvious bonding and beating first before trying to fix the problem. There's one key word you should take to heart, perseverance. In short, it often takes time to run down the RFI source. Sometimes it takes a lot of work to abate it. And once in a while, you can't abate it no matter what you do. And if all else fails, talk to a mobile electronics certified professional or an ASE certified mechanic about your ham radio installation.